Hello everyone, my name is Vesna Girl and I am here with a tutorial for you guys. Yes, so today I'm going to show you on iMovie how to like send magic out of a horse's hoof or horn, depending on if you have a unicorn or whatever. I'm I have briars and I don't have any briar unicorns, so it's just gonna be out of their hoof today. Uh, but obviously you can do it out of their horn too if you put no. Okay, first of all, um, you're going to need to search flare, um, transparent background. Transparent background because if there's no transparent background, then it's not going to show up like, let me just give you an example real fast. Um, this is a transparent background flare. See, there's no background until like, the black is just there when it's off the lid. See? So... Get rid of that real fast. Oops, I'll just move that down there right now. You're going to need a transparent background. And to know if it's a transparent background is it's just going to need all of these little checkers in the background. Like this. And that. And that. This would actually be really good coming out of a horse's hoof for like a, a, not just a flare, but a surge. And this would be really good. This will be really good. So it just it opens up more of an opportunity for the magic that your horses can be using. And I know it's not as cool as some of the effects in After Effects, Photoshop, or PS After Effects. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's called. It has a 30 day trial, so I might try that. But I mean, it takes me a while to learn stuff too. So just pick out one of the ones you like. This was the one I used just for example. So I downloaded the image. It's down here in your downloads. Um, and then you're going to bring up oops, iMovie. And here's my flare. So you're going to put it over your photo so that it shows up. And it should show up like right away. And as you'll notice, it's moving. And why it's moving is because of the Ken Burns effect. And what you're going to want to do, see, if your horse is facing, the f direction that your horse is facing or where the horse's hoof is is where you want the flare to be. So like... If the flare is all the way over here, and my horse's hoof is over here, then it's going to come down like that, and I want it to look like it's coming out of the horse's hoof. So simply what you do is you're going to click on your flare, double click actually, open up the cropping option, click on the Ken Burns, and you're going to rotate it until it's in the corner where you want it to be, slash where your horse's hoof is, and then you're going to move these little would you watch it around until they're in the position that you want them to be? So let's check that out. See, it's going in the wrong direction. So what I do, weirdly, end is the beginning and start is the end. And I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe my computer just doesn't like it how it's supposed to be. I'm not sure. Um, so let's just see that real fast. Oops, hold on. Spotlight opened. Oopsie daisy. Try that again. See, that is almost there, and one way to make it faster, like, you don't want to really, really bloop, bloop, bloop. That would be really annoying. So all you have to do is shorten the clip, and the faster it'll go. Because it won't, it'll shorten the amount of time it takes. It won't, like, cut, cut it off. Watch. And the longer you make it, let me give you an example. The longer you make it, the longer it'll take. So, the shorter, the faster, the longer, the slower. And I'm just going to move this a little bit more. The can oops, not the horse itself, the flare. I'm just going to move the end a little bit more to the center and see how that works out for me. Near, just about there. See, it starts from the horse's body. So, hold on, let me make this fit with no Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns effect like ruins it. Look at that. That's no convincing. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna play around with it for a few minutes until it's where I want it to be, where I want it to be, and all of that goodness. Just try that. Meow. So we're just about there. I think I've just about got it what I want it and where I want it. So let me just switch that up a little bit. See, it gets bigger as you make it bigger, or smaller, sorry. 
So I'm going to need these to be fairly big because I want to be fairly small because it's coming out of a horse's hoof, you know, I don't want to, I don't know, just weird. Zoom! So I just about have it where I want it. I'm just going to play with it a tiny, tiny little bit more. Let me move this start a little bit to the center, actually. Zoom! Perfect. Exactly where I want it. Right out of the horse's hoof. Let me just move it up a hair bit. Doop. Oops, no, I actually want to move it down because it's like the opposite for me. Don't know why. It just is. Zoom! That is just about exactly where I want it. So, um, all it really shows here is to work on, make sure that the corner or where the flare is, is the direction you want it to go and it's not over here, it's where the horse's hoof slash horn slash where the magic is coming from is. Um, because I had a lot of problems in my last attempt with that and then I figured it out and I was like, oh, now I need to redo it because that was, that'd be really bad if I actually put that on YouTube. So, um, I hope this helps you. I'm, I certainly have a very good feeling about the Fallen, like a lot more now. I'm not saying there's going to be magic, just for like any, any actual picture that you want. Um, just look up the picture name with the transparent background and you can make sparkles, you can make glitter, you can make stars, you can pretty much do anything with this sort of effect. Um, the Ken Burns is actually really, really helpful and I'm really glad that it's there because now I've got magic shooting out of my horse's hoof and it's pretty stinking awesome. And just make it perfect exactly where you want it to be. Look, it starts right at the horse's hoof. It's amazing. I love it. It's just, it's so much easier than all of the hard sound, hard effects. And I know like some of the titles have, um, Lens flare, which wouldn't be too bad for magic, I guess. Um, let me just move that down real fast. Lens flare, which wouldn't be too bad for magic, as I said, but it's not like it's not as good, and you can't choose the colors, so it's just not as nice. And oh my gosh, excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. And obviously, it'd be good like if the horse was channeling energy or whatever. Oh, actually, that looks pretty cool. It's like firing off. It's like the flare within the horse, and then it like fires off the hoof. Let me just make the picture longer and see how that what the heck is going on with my mouse. Sorry about that, friends. Make this a little bit longer. Add in the lens flare. So this is just a really fun thing to do and play around with, and I really, really enjoy this effect. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I get easily excited. Um, and you can do this with any flare or magic you find, like just search, oops, just search up here, um, magic. And obviously some of them won't have transparent backgrounds, like most of these do not, do not. So just go magic, transparent background and magic doesn't always bring up a transparent background like see here it'll bring up a magic lamp the heck is a my little pony doing there and wands um this wouldn't be too bad i guess if it had an actual transparent background but that's white so that's not actually transparent so that really would not work um why do my little ponies show up when i click okay that's inappropriate that's bad that's kind of cool, though, how they did that one. Um, so you can search anything from flare trans transparent background to, um, like, sparkles transparent background. And see tons of these have transparent backgrounds, so I wouldn't worry too much about sparkles not having transparent backgrounds. Like this one... This one would be really nice, but I don't think this is going to be that comment sucks. But you, I think you get my points and where I'm coming from. So, um, you can also do, like, um, Harry and Voldemort magic transparent background. 
because I know like when the red and the blue come together that would like look really awesome for evil and good horses. Um, but you could always um, make your own effects in Photoshop too, or Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you have, I have GIMP. Um, and then make sure it has a transparent background and then you can add that in and you can tell people, you know, I made that effect, that's my effect, I made that all by myself. And it, what the heck? Interesting. Yeah, let's get, let's back into the flare or <laughs> sparkles or whatever. So all that I'm really saying is that you can do a lot with just moving pictures and the Ken's burn, Ken Burns, Ken Burns, yeah, Ken Burns effect. Like horse is channeling the energy and then it shoots out of its hoof. That right there could be used in a scene. Obviously, I would use a movie with my briars, not a picture, because that wouldn't be as well, it, I don't know, as nice looking, I guess. Um, but I think you get. Oh, goodness, I'm so sorry. I think you get the idea, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you. And if it did, please leave a like, a rate, or. Please rate, like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and it did help you. Um, I don't, like, really care if you tell anyone that you got the thing from me. But if you do make a tutorial that's, like, exactly like mine, can you at least say that it was sort of prompted off of mine? Um, but, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people have done this, so I'm not, like, taking credit for anything. I came up with doing this on my own one day because um, I saw my brother using Flare for his channel art. Go check him out. He does um, Minecraft gaming. He does really, really awesome Hunger Games and survival with his friend, Sean. Um, he's Lego Doodle EM Minecraft Gaming. Lego Doodle Minecraft Gaming. So, go check him out. He has an awesome channel, and he has... I think over 300 subscribers now. So go check him out. He's really awesome. Um, but he was using the flare, lens flare, for his channel art. Um, one of his channel arts. He changed it like five times a day. <laughs> um, and I saw that and I was like, you know, I could see that being, ma being used as magic with a briar. And it just gave me this great idea to do that so I figured I'd make a tutorial to help so sorry about that to help people who don't know how to do it and let them do it too because it would really in just enhance the way Briar movies are made and yeah so I hope you enjoy please rate comment subscribe and like if you did enjoy this video I've said it like three times now but goodbye my lovely lovely lovely